1-877-597-4500. Here's a text on our text line from Deb in El Perot. Deb writes, milk prices in Quebec are ridiculous. Change the system or don't as long as I can get a gallon of milk across the border at $174, $74 US, I will because Canadian prices cannot compete, says Deb, who is sort of saying for her, it comes down to prices and she's getting those lower prices in uh, in the US. Now, I, I want to uh, I want to play that Maxime Bernier interview that I, I was talking about because he's going to give us all kinds of things to to talk about. And I know that because I've done the interview already, so I want to play it for you. Uh, Maxime Bernier is the conservative MP for Beauce. He is running for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. He wrote an opinion piece that appeared in the Globe and Mail yesterday with sort of the eye-catching headline of Mr. President, you are right, supply management is unfair. Maxime Bernier uh, writes that it is unfair uh, to mostly to consumers here. Uh, he, he writes in his piece, he was very pleased when he saw that Donald Trump stole one of his best lines. Here's our conversation. Maxime Bernier, hi there, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be with you. Now, you say in your letter you agree that the system is not fair to American farmers, but you say there's another group that you feel even more sorry for, Canadian consumers. Why is that? Yeah, because, you know, for the last 40 years, Canadian consumers are all paying twice the price for the dairy products, the milk and, and the cheese and, and the chicken uh, with that socialist cartel system of, of supply management in Canada. So that's why I want to abolish that for Canadian consumers, being sure that they will pay after price. If you travel in the U.S., you'll be able to buy a dozen of eggs for 95 cents. And here in Canada, as you know, it's uh, almost uh, $3. So we must abolish that. And that's what I want to do. People who support the system say that it is meant to protect farmers here and to protect the idea of the family farm. <laughs> Yeah, but since uh, that system, you know, that system exists for the last 40 years, and before that we had the reproducer in Canada. And actually, if you look at the data, 90% of the family firm in, uh, firm in, in Canada, a dairy firm in Canada, disappear uh, on, under that system because of consolidation. And, and now they're a corporation. It's a business, and it's a very lucrative business because they are fixing high artificial prices for these products. So the family firm, uh, you know, it's, it's now a business uh, and a corporation. So uh, it, they disappear under that system. So it would be better for, for them. They would be able to export. They are, produce, they are producing very good products. So let's, let's, uh, let's uh, allow them to, to export that in other countries. The consolidation is happening here. It's true. It's happening in a lot of places. But we've, we've talked to farmers here who say that it would be even worse here if we didn't have our supply management system. Yeah, but what they want, you know, and they, they want to keep their privilege. You know, they, they represent only 10% of the farmers in Canada. 90% of the farmers are, are under a free market. They don't have that system, and they they are saying, you know, it's good for us because, and it's good for the government because the government is not giving us any subsidies. They're right about that. That's the consumers who are giving them subsidies. We are paying 2.6 billion dollars a year to keep that system. That's a huge subsidies coming from the consumers. We must change that. And you know, some of them will stay in the business. Other will decided to do other things. But uh, that's, that's life, and I don't want to work for a cartel. I'm pleased and I'm proud to work for Canadian consumers, and I'm the only member of parliament who speaks for 35 million Canadians, and I think that's what we must do as a politician. Do, do you think it's possible that Canadian consumers might actually like this system that we have here? I ask them, you know, why are they crossing the border and to do their grocery when they can, when they, for people who are living near, near the border to buy their meal, their poultry, their eggs, they're doing that because it's cheaper and I want them to have the freedom of choice, to be able to choose if they want to buy meal from Canada or meal from the U.S. That's, that would be their choice. I think, yes, Canadian consumer will appreciate that. What they want, they want a quality product and I can tell you that our food safety regulations would be the same. So you won't be able to export, for example, milk coming from the U.S. if the U.S. producers are giving growth hormone to their cow. They don't do that in Canada, and we don't allow that in Canada. 
So if the dairy producer, they want to export their milk in Canada, they will have to follow our food safety regulation. So, and Canadian after that, they will have a choice. <clears throat> but I think, you know, it is a regressive tax that is uh, very bad for Canadian consumers, this, this system. Maxim Bernier, listen, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Have a nice day. You as Bye. well. Bye-bye. Maxime Bernier, Conservative MP for both, also running for the leadership of the Conservative Party. And uh, he, he wrote that piece that appeared in the Globe and Mail yesterday. Headline, Mr. President, your right, supply management is unfair. His big problem with it seems to be that uh, that he says it leads to higher prices for consumers. So let's hear from, from more consumers. The phone number here is 514-597-4500. Toll free is 1-877-597-4500. The text line, 514-566-9066. Here's another text. This is from Al in the West Island. Responding to the previous uh, text about those really cheap prices, and Al says a dollar seventy-four U.S. per gallon. Where is that? I see between two fifty and three fifty U.S. typically across the border in New York and Vermont. So Al saying the difference maybe not all that significant. Um, one here from you, Paul, Paul Meldrum. I want to give you a few seconds here if there's anything that you want to sort of focus in on before I get back to the to the phones here. Yeah, well, if, if um, it, it seems that Maxim Bernier, if you'll pardon the pun, is trumping Kevin O'Leary uh, in this. He's claiming to speak for all consumers, which uh, is a pretty, uh, I'd say, uh, outrageous statement because I don't believe that's his mandate, nor is, do consumers look for him for that. But a couple of things that he mentioned, you know, that uh, with our standards, we wouldn't allow milk into the country that has been treated from cows treated with bovine somatotropin, which is really what we call growth hormone, mm -hmm. uh, which is naturally occurring in cows. But in the United States, the synthetic version is legal to administer to cows. The problem with, with his statement is he's, he's wrong. There's no way to detect the difference between both synthetic bovine uh, somatotropin and that occurs naturally in the cows. So farmers in the States could be treating their cows, that milk could come here, and we would have no way of knowing. The second thing is when he says consumers are going across to buy cheaper milk, for sure. Uh, uh, consumers aren't stupid. If they can find the product a little bit cheaper, they'll go, but they're also going to the States to buy gas, clothing, electronics, auto parts. So to, it it's rather, uh, I think, not unfair, but it's misleading to make it sound as if that dairy products are the only thing that are more expensive in this country when uh, I have neighbors, I live close to the border, I go over sometimes and buy something that's cheaper. Uh, all Canadians close to the border do that and what, 90% of us live within 150 kilometers of the U.S. border. You ever buy milk or dairy products when you go to the States? Uh, no. Nope. Because why? I'm a Canadian dairy farmer. Yeah, <laughs> and I also, you know, I, I farmed in the states, and uh, we had a good cheese plant. Uh, I used to buy cheese there, but I actually looked at it and did the the, the figuring. And by the time I pay the difference on the dollar, uh, it, there's really no difference, and I can buy uh, agripur cheese, which is better quality. Uh, I'm speaking with Paul Meldrum. I'm going to speak with some other farmers coming up in the second half of the program. I'm going to take more of your calls as well. We are talking about the dairy industry and, and really specifically where you come in, I think, is is dairy prices. The phone number here is 514-597-4500. Toll free is 1-877-597-4500. Let's break now for about 90 seconds. Joanne Bailey.